Today is October 14th, on which we commemorate Samuel Isaac Joseph Sheryshevsky, Bishop of Shanghai. Born a Russian-Lithuanian Jew in 1831, it was while studying to be a rabbi that Samuel Isaac Joseph Sheryshevsky first encountered the New Testament in Hebrew. His studies of it convinced him that Jesus Christ was indeed the Jewish Messiah, and he began a slow process of conversion. After some years studying in Germany, Sheryshevsky moved to the United States in 1854 and was soon thereafter baptized a Baptist. He left the Baptist Church for the Presbyterian Church when he attended Pittsburgh Theological Seminary, but then he became an Episcopalian and transferred to the General Theological Seminary in New York. While there, he volunteered to be a missionary to China. Ordained a priest in China in 1860, Sheryshevsky soon set about making a Chinese translation of the Bible, a work which would occupy him for the remainder of his life. In those days, all of China and Japan formed one huge Anglican diocese. This eventually became unmanageable, and when a division was requested in 1877, Sheryshevsky was elected and consecrated Bishop of Shanghai. He would serve as bishop until his health forced him to resign in 1883. His physical deterioration did not stop his translation work, however. He continued feverishly to complete his work even as he went blind and suffered paralysis in most of his body. His Mandarin translation of the Old and New Testaments was completed and published in 1899. Sheryshevsky would continue to work on translating the scriptures into other Chinese dialects until his death in Tokyo in 1906. Few people in Christian history stand as such a testament to the way in which Christ and his church unite all people into one body. Samuel Isaac Joseph Sheryshevsky was a Russian-Lithuanian Jew who seemed destined to the rabbinate, read the gospel in Hebrew in Germany, was baptized a Baptist in America, studied for the Presbyterian and the Episcopalian ministry, and eventually became an Anglican bishop, whose greatest passion in life was to enable the Chinese people to read God's word in their native tongue. In Christ there is no east or west, in him no south or north, but one great fellowship of love throughout the whole wide earth. Let us pray. O God, in your providence you called Samuel Isaac Joseph Sheryshevsky from his home in Eastern Europe to the ministry of this church and sent him as a missionary to China upholding him in his infirmity that he might translate the Holy Scriptures into the languages of that land. Lead us, we pray, to commit our lives and talents to you in the confidence that when you give your servants any work to do, you also supply the strength to do it. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.